So, again, we start off with another look from the uh, Sephora's uh, Divergent palette collection that I got. And this one's in the Dauntless section. It's Dauntless. Dauntless, beautiful. I love these colors. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. This is the look I created for you um, using the movier type Fear Not lip gloss from the line and the cheek palette that came with the line. The rest of my makeup I've already done already. Eyebrows, eye primers, I'll list all the stuff that I use though down below. Um, so if you want to see how I created this look, oh, I love it, oh, I love it. Just keep watching, thanks. Let's put some makeup on. We're gonna use the Dauntless Eye Palette from the Divergent collection that I had picked up at Sephora. So pretty. So pretty. Let's grab for an eye brush, people. Forgot to pull out my bus brushes. Sorry. Sorry about it. Now it's about time to find one I want to use. I think I'm gonna use flat one from Urban Decay and we're going to go into Abnegation Stone and lightly pat that into the base of my eyeball. Abnegation. Not all the way over. Okay. Very shimmery. Uh, see-through texture. Excellent. <coughs> Excuse me. Blech. Yes, I'm still dead. I'm gonna take Serene Vanilla on this, uh, let me see, Serene Vanilla on a Soho London brush. Press that. Beautiful, beautiful brow bone shade. Reminds me of Max Vanilla. Press it into the inner corner of my eye, brighten that area up, up the side of my nose, towards that shadow of the abnegation. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to take the other side of that uh, Urban Decay brush and Erudite Sapphire. And swim it into my crease. So in essence we're making a smoky eye but a more structured smoky eye. I love that blue color. It's just so pretty. To the other side. I chose to use a flat, stiffer brush for the crease just to keep that really structured uh, cut crease look going. Broadening my width here, blending it up. Get a wash of color. Wash of color. Wash. Okay. Then with a let's see, where you go? 217. I'm gonna take the Dauntless ink, that black is black, 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 black. And really gonna press that in deep like that. Beautiful. Love it. So that blue becomes kind of a, a tight transition shade. It's a beautiful black shade. Really love this one. I compare it to the Lorac Black for the Pro Palette. Oh, so deep, so dark, so deep and dark. <laughs> hey Sam, what color is that? It's deep and dark. It's deep and dark. Dirt. Flat C brush technique. Bam. We're going to take that erudite sapphire and tip it. Tip it. Like this. So that it's on the tip of the flat brush. And 
I'm just smooth, smoothing that over. Not all the way over. Don't want to close myself off today. Really like this shadow. I am so happy I got this palette. I hope everybody else who got it enjoys it too. I know everybody has different needs and wants from their eyeshadow palettes, but this is performing beautifully for me. So absolutely, absolutely thrilled that I picked this one up. <clears throat> There's a transformer shade and it's Diverge and it looks like that. And it's kind of got a green olivey gold color to it. I thought it'd be pretty if I centered it and went towards the inner rim, inner corner of my eye. Gently, not all over the highlight, the whole thing, though. But I know this will be beautiful layer just over that black, so I'm excited to try that sometime. Pretty. I like it. Beautiful palette. Love it! Taking a blue eyeliner pencil. This is by Maybelline Master Drama Eye Studio, right here. And it's like a sapphire color. See that? I'm gonna waterline with the navy. Making my eyes water. Huh? What's new? See how I left this part open though, just to keep that face part open? Okay, as my eyeballs adjust <laughs> to the the pain that I put it through. I'm gonna take the NYX liquid black liner in uh, black noir, black, 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 black. Mm -hmm. I sharp my no flick. I'm a very big fan of this very tiny, tiny brush. Nice stuff, guys. Good job, Nix. Oh. All right. Got that liquid line on. Let that dry a little. Go ahead and work on some of my face stuff here. Uh, intelligent bronze. We're just going to do a little contour just to back it up. I'm going to do it back here on most of my face. Like that. While the liquid liner dries. And then... I'm going to use the Obscure Coral color. It's this one right here, Obscure Coral. And it's got a shimmer in it. They're very nice blushes. I like them. This one reminds me a lot of NARS Orgasm. <sighs> Taking the Gleaming Pearl at the tip of the brush and sweeping as a highlight. Do that here. And here. Taking the other side of that divergent brush and just making sure I got everything blended to my satisfaction. Watching my eye tear up and water down my face. <laughs> ah, I caught it. It's not gonna happen. We're not gonna ruin this makeup look today. Not on tonight. Uh, let's see. Too Faced, better than sex mascara. I know this is a favorite mascara of a lot of people. It's alright for me. It's okay. Sorry.
I'm gonna stop here, put some lashes We're on. We're back, and we got lashes, and we got drama. Oh, the shade. Seven one two Willow by Wet and Wild. The pencil. And the Divergent Fear Not um, Lip Gloss. Dauntless is pretty fearless. Smells like peppermint and vanilla. Has a movie tone to it. Very moisturizing. I really like the fact these are very emollient. Feels like essential oils are penetrating and doing good things to your mouth. All right, let me fluff up my my sassy top knot here. Sassy. I'm just kidding. It's not sassy. It's somewhat funky. There you go. Um, so this is the look I created. Uh, very smoky, yet controlled. You still have a crease. Um, you still have definition, shape to my eye here going on. Yay! And I think it's very beautiful. I love these palettes. I am giving them a big thumbs up. So glad I got them. So glad I got them. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got them. Um, so this is the third and the last of the Divergent palette tryouts. And I am thrilled. I hope you guys can get up your hands on some if you like them. If uh, you have any comments or questions, let me know. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. It ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun.